Perfect. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's uh, webinar on automation of financial. I'm the CEO of Consolidon. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Consolidon, we are uh, a new age consulting firm uh, powered by a digital platform. So we have an ecosystem of around 1,200 boutique consulting firms and individual consultants that power up our consulting firm. Um, we love organizing webinars, uh, knowledge sessions, live events uh, to share knowledge. We have so much knowledge within the ecosystem and we love sharing that with um, other members of the ecosystem as well as uh, with our end clients who are joining us here today. Um, today's webinar is uh, being hosted by ADE Professional Solutions. So two partners, Artem, who's also a partner in Consolidon for financial and management consolidation, and Yevgeny have joined us. Yevgeny is joining us from Moscow, so uh, thank you for joining us. I hear it's becoming a getting a bit warmer there, and it's it's really hot here in Dubai, as you might know. Uh, but um, looking forward to hearing from both of you in today's uh, webinar. Uh, just before we start, just a couple of quick rules, a uh, couple of quick uh, pointers from me for the audience. One, please keep yourself on mute throughout the webinar. But when you want to ask question, you can switch on your video and raise your actual hand or you can raise your virtual hand using the Zoom feature and we'll call you in to uh, let you ask the question so that we can answer. Um, there will be a few giveaways during the course of the webinar. So please do look out for those. There are three giveaways that my colleague Vyom will be putting on chat. Uh, the first giveaway is um, an invite to join our ecosystem. We've started setting up a small ecosystem of finance, profession, finance professionals where we post board memberships, job opportunities, um, thought leadership, event invitations, um, uh, consulting assignments. Uh, if any of you are interested in participating in some of these, Vyom will be sending an invite for that at around the 15 minute mark. Uh, around the 30 minute mark, Vyom will be sending a link to our latest newsletter where we share information that is very relevant for finance professionals. So Artem and Vyom and Yevgeny take a lot of trouble every week to write some very, very relevant thought leadership content, which I believe all of you can benefit from. Uh, so do look out for that link, and uh, which will be shared at around the 30 minute mark and around the 40, 45 minute mark towards the end of the webinar. Uh, we're going to be giving you more information on how you can reach out to Artem as well as Yevgeny um, to ask more questions that you might have related to automation of the finance function. Uh, both uh, Artem and Yevgeny bring a lot of experience in automating and making the finance function more effective. Uh, so I'm sure a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them will be very valuable ending. But uh, I think it is a cue for me to end quickly. But Artem, over to you for today's presentation. Looking forward. Uh, you're on mute, Artem. I'm on mute. OK, sorry. So hello, everyone. Uh, it's nice to see you all at today's webinar. Let me just, I, I was just kicked off from the webinar for a couple of uh, minutes. So let me just start my presentation. It's very nice to welcome you all. Just a second. Okay, so now everyone hope can see the presentation. So uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the webinar on automation of financial and management consolidation. So let me in brief describe what we are planning to talk about today. Uh, first of all, uh, we shall introduce ourselves. Uh, we shall introduce the firm AD Professional Solutions and today's speakers. Uh, and we'll talk a little about our experience in, in the area just uh, for a couple of minutes. Then we have two parts, uh, a more theoretical part and quite practical. In theoretical part, uh, we shall talk about importance of the financial and management consolidation 
and ways to prove it, the need for it to the management. We will then move on to overall place of the consolidation in the reporting process and the way the financial consolidation is usually structured in the organizations in terms of uh, both IT and uh, team tasks. We have a couple of slides on how the financial consolidation helps and what major features it usually has. Then we'll move to the practical part of the webinar. And in the practical part, we will discuss two high profile cases our firm uh, had with uh, two quite big multi-billion groups of companies. We shall describe how we assisted those clients with getting timely and relevant financial information to their management and to their boards of directors. Finally, we'll discuss on how ADE can assist you in automating finance. I hope today's webinar will be helpful to the CFOs, uh, chief accountants and their teams. We have tried to make this first webinar not, not very complex uh, and since the financial consolidation is only the first uh, area, the first brick of, of the potential areas of finance automation, we're also planning to continue uh, with a series of webinars on other areas of finance, uh, which can be automated and where we have uh, significant expertise. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Artem Zavirtaluk. Uh, my work is, experience is over 22 years. I started as a, a consultant in PwC, then I moved to Ernst & Young. Uh, I worked in the industry as a CFO, and for 17 years, I'm a partner with AD Professional Solutions. I am an ACCA qualified, and one of my key areas of expertise lies in finance methodology for such areas as financial and management reporting, budgeting and planning uh, based on multiple IT softwares, including SAP, Oracle, IBM, and Anaplan products. Evgeny. Thank you, Artem. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Evgeny Rudakov, and uh, I'm leading the systems integration practice of AD Professional Solutions. I have started my career in 1998 in one of big four firms, uh, but then I switched to IT side of the reporting and gained experience with, of working with uh, different software vendors starting from IBM and so on. And now I'm leading at ADE uh, the projects with the most advanced clients and implementing various software uh, for financial consolidation also. Thank you. Okay, uh, just a couple of words uh, about our firm. Uh, the firm was started uh, in 2004 and now has offices in Russia and the Emirates. Uh, from the Emirates, we provide our services on automation of finance together with Consolidon network uh, to the Gulf countries. In Russia, we are number two in terms of IFRS accounting. So we do a pretty big uh, deal of uh, complex uh, reporting, uh, complex financial accounts. Uh, we have issued and we have assisted uh, with more than 1,000 uh, financial statements prepared and issued. And we have over 25 uh, automation projects uh, of different areas of finance completed with the clients located worldwide. We have a team of 50 professionals qualified as ACCA, CFA, CFE, as well as multiple IT product certifications. So apart from accounting, our key strength is that we have a cross-functional team of accountants able to engage in complex IT implementation. So we, we have a good cross-functional experience in both finance and IT. So uh, where the expertise lies? Uh, if you think of automation project as a constructing a house, you will have the following picture. The client is always a CFO, chief accountant, and his team. The vendor is a supplier of material, IBM, 
uh, SAP, Oracle, or any other vendor just supply bricks and concrete and other construction materials. And of course, the better the bricks are, the longer your building will stay. So of course, you need to carefully choose the IT software to be implemented, and it should be specific for your tasks, for the tasks, tasks in your organization. System Integrator is a construction company who takes the bricks and builds the building. So while a methodology team like AD performs the role of an architect. So we go to the customer, we talk to the CFO, chief accountant and their teams, understand and write down all their demands and requirements and draw a blueprint for the building to be constructed and the layout of the software bricks. So, so we are methodology guys. We are so a kind of architects uh, for uh, automation of finance. And here is an example of a full scale uh, ideal project we did for the largest timber producing group with plants located in Russia and eight countries of Europe. The group automated all the finance functions based on SAP as for HANA and SAP BPC. So our firm prepared the methodology for four functional lines, including reporting, budgeting, consolidation, treasury, and then assisted implementation of the software till putting it into operation. We have a huge and very interesting experience in each of the areas of automation of finance. And today we will share a few thoughts on only one of the topics, the first brick, the most maybe easiest one, though maybe not, uh, financial and management consolidation. We have experience with all the major international vendors, including SAP, Oracle, IBM, and Anaplan. But we also can bring in some interesting vendors, widely popular in Russia, Kazakhstan, and some other countries like 1C and Optimacros. We have a large worldwide portfolio of clients whom we have assisted with automation. And apart, and by the way, apart from pure methodology, we also uh, cooperated with IBM and some other software vendors whose products, for example, IBM Cognos Controller, we implemented by ourselves. So we prepared methodology, but we also implemented this methodology to the client. Take, talking more precisely about financial consolidation, we have done uh, a lot of pretty cool stuff. So we have automated the third largest gas producer in the world in terms of proven reserves, the largest bank in Kazakhstan, the largest banking uh, group of companies in Kazakhstan, second in Russia and 23rd worldwide iron producer, uh, Russia's largest leasing company and largest generation company in Russia. But the most amazing for us is that all these clients are still using the software without even thought of changing it. For example, Novatec, it's the third largest gas producer in the world with limitless budgets, has been using, it was our first project, and this company has been using the consolidation system we implemented 14 years ago, and they still love it, and they don't need to change it. So, uh, it's our first project. It was our first project in automation and still works despite ever-changing IT capabilities. So this is best proof that uh, we did a good job and we hope we'll be able to do this go good job for you. Mm -hmm. So let me move to uh, the first part of the webinar on why financial and management consolidation is so important for groups of companies. And the answer is quite simple. They, the companies, the group of companies, uh, medium and large sized group of companies just cannot survive without it. We're living in the world with excess of information. The modern CFO gets overwhelming external data from all around him. He needs to analyze macroeconomic data, for example, forecasts of economic growth, inflation rate, constantly changing taxation, transfer pricing regulations, et cetera, et cetera. He has to follow up competitors. All this data come from a huge number of sources. But more important, the CFO needs to understand 
the internal financial information from his company, from his groups of companies, and share it with other management, with other top management, so-called C-suite, to enable them to be effective in their tasks, in sales, in production, in marketing, et cetera, et cetera. And if the CFO does not have the timely and relevant information and data from his own company, then he fails, the CFO fails, and maybe even the company fails. And on the contrary, if he does, if he does have timely and relevant information, according to the recent research of an IBM consultancy, the company is uh, more than almost 200% likely to outperform its competitors. So here it is. The only numbers that come out of organization that really matter are coming out of the financial and management consolidation system. Nobody at top of the company, nobody at top of, of the of group of companies at C-suite level looks after standalone data on the level of individual companies. So everyone interested is interested in the consolidated data. Uh, this is how a corporation communicates its financial health to investors and other interested external parties. The output of financial consolidation is externally audited. It's important that they are audited because while making investment decisions, stakeholders need to be able to trust the numbers coming out of the business. All you know, examples of poor financial governance in respect of external reporting, which included multiple cases, let's say uh, the recent case of Wirecard in Germany, WorldCom and Enron in the US, and the recent case uh, in the Gulf with Abraj Group, where the numbers were not reliable and this caused investors to lose a significant amount of money. Therefore, the stakes are very high when it comes to consolidation and external financial reporting. And it's not only about external reporting. A consolidation system is nearly always used for internal decision making at the board level or at C-suite level. A consolidation system deals with strategic data. Organizations are not looking, the, the top management is not looking uh, at what a single employee, how much he's getting paid, how much his cell phone bill is, or how much widgets uh, are sold in a single store location somewhere. It's all about how much overall, how much consolidated cash is being generated, how much profits is being made, which business segments are performing, and how much cash is being converted to profit and so on and so forth. These are big strategic level financial questions uh, that are coming, the answers to which are coming out of consolidation system and combined with forward looking tools such as planning, budgeting, forecasting product. This is what uh, sees you, this is what top management of the companies uh, is really using to manage their business. Finally, uh, the chief financial officer's credibility is dependent on the speed and accuracy of getting those consolidated figures out. Businesses like, let's say, British Petroleum, for example, will publish well in advance the date on which they are going to announce their financial figures. They cannot just say they are going to be a week late, for example. Uh, this could cause significant issues, an embarrassment and someone will probably lose their job. The share price might even be affected by the lack of delivering its results in a time frame expressed. So credibility is the credibility of a CFO is uh, really on the line and it, it makes it very important that consolidation is delivered strictly on time uh, and only in this way it can show, it can display the true value of the business and its performance. So when talking about automation, it's sometimes quite easy to evaluate its cost 
to evaluate its qualitative benefits, let's say, because of uh, the information you have on time. And it's very complex to evaluate its benefits in terms of money gains. The cost of automation, we usually refer to as, to as uh, TCO, total cost of ownership, usually adds up very in a very simple way. It's, it's just a sum of software license fees plus consulting. To evaluate all this cost, you just need to request estimations from a couple of vendors, let's say SAP, Oracle, or IBM, and system integrators. However, it's further very difficult for a CFO or chief accountant to prove this investment in use of software by referencing only to the qualitative characteristics, faster closure, more reliable information, et cetera. So I would recommend, our firm would recommend trying also to evaluate the quantitative characteristics and link them to the qualitative changes. Ideally, this would lead to calculation of re return on investment from implementation. So in this slide, we show our firm's best practices suggesting uh, several, six uh, quite easy to evaluate benchmarks to prove the need for automation of the financial consolidation. So let's move uh, to them. First of them is fast closure and better analytics. The financial information is all about bringing relevant information for efficient allocation of the company's resources. Uh, to, to prove the benefits uh, for automation, a CFO should find a single case from, let's say, last couple of years uh, when uh, he had a problem with getting information uh, from the reporting on time and it really mattered and evaluate it in terms of gross margins on any other profitability ratio. So most of our clients proved the need for automation with at least 1% of gross margin. The second quite easy uh, measure to evaluate the benefits uh, is a potential decrease in audit fees. Auditors scope of work and the fees are significantly dependent on the quality of the internal controls of the client. The better internal controls are, the less work the auditors should perform, the less substantive testing you should do. So the higher discount the auditor can provide for the audit fees. So uh, automation of the financial or management consolidation is the best confirmation of the efficient internal controls of the reporting. So uh, once you implement uh, uh, the automation uh, of consolidated reporting, you can easily ask for 10 to 20% of the audit fees. The next one is better perception by equity investors. Uh, the value of the external investors' attribution to the company's equity is often a matter of their perceptions, how they see the company, uh, whether they simply like it or not, and availability of regular, high-class, uh, re reliable financial information, which is free of errors, is always a good sign for the company's investors. It's like in social media, let's say Instagram, <laughs> once you do... Uh, don't do regular posts, uh, and once you don't post highly quality content, your subscribers start to forget about you. So the consolidated financial management reporting is the same high quality content in the area of finance. Uh, the next one is better perception from the creditors and lower finance costs. In general, the bigger the company, the lower uh, cost of debt is. If you have a group of companies, uh, and you are able to prepare, prepare and to provide the financial uh, consolidation, it's often cheaper to borrow uh, from bank. So bringing in the consolidated financial reports and in negotiations with the bank or any other creditors, a CFO can significantly decrease the interest rates. And in addition, the more public the borrowing is the cheaper it is. So the cost of borrowing from a single bank is always higher than the cost of public debt, for example, in, in, in the way of bonds. So uh, 
by bringing consolidated reporting, a company can uh, decrease uh, its borrowing cost, its interest rate by at least 10%. The next one is lower personnel costs. Uh, automation brings down the volume of routine work and brings more value added and interesting tasks related to analysis uh, to the finance team. And we estimate that uh, decreasing in this kind of routine work, decrease in turnover of your key financial consolidation team personnel uh, can save you up to 50% of the total personnel cost, including recruitment fees of, of, of your team. And finally, uh, the quality of financial reporting uh, is very important for the peace of mind of, of the top management of the company. As I said before, the consolidated financial information is often the only financial information available to the external world the company's debt and equity holders. The information is so important that legislation in most countries contain severe punishment for bringing uh, misleading information. Therefore, the quality of the financial information affects people kind of CFO and CEO who sign it, and which in our opinion is actually priceless. So the CSU should, under all circumstances, trust the consolidated financial data. So now we're moving on to the architecture, the structure of the financial consolidation report. So financial consolidation is usually a part of the bigger reporting process, which is usually owned by chief financial officer or chief accountant of the company. In general, medium and larger groups have multiple subsidiaries, not only in one region, but also around the world. Transactional, financial and other non-financial data are recorded, recorded in the books of entry, for example, in sales ledger or purchase ledger and so on. And then uh, the information is transferred from all these ledgers to a single general ledger. So we're starting on the left of the slide. This ledger is often placed in the enterprise resource plan ERP system. There are many providers of these uh, ERP systems, uh, let's say Oracle, SAP, Microsoft Dynamics for larger companies, and smaller companies may use uh, Sage, Pegasus, or even QuickBooks. Then those actual numbers go either directly uh, into the financial consolidation system or into financial close management systems uh, from vendors like Blackline or Trintech. So one should take into account that actual numbers submitted to the consolidation systems uh, represent the trial balance information, receivables, for example, rather than transactional data, let's say a single invoice to the customer. The output of such financial consolidation system is twofold. Uh, for first, it's for external consumption, and second, it's for internal consumption. For external consumption, disclose management tools like uh, CDM and Sternis 365 will often be part of the solution or a system. These products effectively combine the narrative and the numbers from the consolidation system to produce annual reports such as 10Q or 10K in the US or the equivalent in other countries. These reports are generally prepared for external stakeholders, which include investors, people who advise investors and potentially other interested parties such as let's say government bodies, let's say SEC or IRS in the US. From an internal point of view, companies will push information from consolidation system into various management reporting systems, which have their own dashboarding capability or business intelligence tools. 
So now uh, I'm giving a, a word to Evgeny, who will continue on, on the structure. What is inside the financial consolidation system? Evgeny. Thank you, Artyom. Thank you, everyone. So I suggest that we look in more detail inside the consolidation system. So first of all, let's discuss the steps that we should take uh, during the consolidation itself. So first of all, uh, we should translate various national charts of accounts of subsidiaries into the uniform group chart of accounts. I should say that in our experience, uh, the unified chart of accounts for larger groups uh, may contain uh, thousands of lines. For example, three thousands of lines is normal for the big huge chart of accounts. Uh, the translation of charts of accounts is usually done through data mapping. Uh, once again, as Artyom said, uh, the consolidation system collects usually uh, trial balances, not the detailed transactions from the subsidiaries. Secondly, what we do here is we do we perform currency translation because uh, national companies may use their local uh, transactional currencies, for example, dollars, euros, Korean won, and they should be converted into the presentational currency of the group. Uh, this is uh, regulated by uh, IS21 in uh, IFRS standards, for example. This standard is setting the rules for uh, translation of different exchange rates, and these algorithms can be automatically applied uh, during the proper implementation. Uh, next, we should eliminate intercompany transactions. For example, if we have the production group where the mining subsidiary um, uh, sells or to the production plant, uh, these transactions should be eliminated in order not to double count on the consolidation level. Or for example, where we have the um, head office uh, borrowing from banks and then supplying finance for subsidiaries, the cash flows and the uh, balances should be also eliminated in order to inflate the consolidation balance sheet. In the consolidational, in the consolidation of the larger groups, we may have thousands of intercompany balances, thousands of intercompany transactions, and through the proper and the proper implementation of this. Uh, should be should be should allow to eliminate in the company transactions and balances in just seconds. Uh, so uh, then we move to the ownership adjustments. Um, the group can have various levels of ownership and controls over its subsidiaries, uh, starting from 100% uh, ownership and ultimate control to. 1% uh, shareholding, which doesn't provide group with any decision making. And uh, various um, reporting standards such as AFRS or US GAAP may prescribe different treatments for uh, such cases of ownership and control. And the proper consolidation system should be able to automate it. And uh, then we come to the preparation of consolidated financial statements themselves. So we present the data of the group as the single reporting package or the financial statements themselves. Uh, this is what the, cons the financial consolidation system is for. Um, uh, I should also talk ab about a little bit about the uh, main issues which arise during the manual consolidation process. Uh, usually manual consolidation process for is set up in the Excel sheets. And for the large groups and uh, medium-sized groups, it's the huge waste of time of the consolidation team. 
the manual processes become nightmare when group grows and especially when group changes, for example. Uh, multiple sheets uh, have uh, various uh, numerous links between them and these links can be broken down or spreadsheets can be deleted and lost uh, during the process. So, uh, and the team uh, should communicate between themselves by uh, sending these various spreadsheets through the email. And uh, another, um, another issue is that uh, the team cannot use the same spreadsheet simultaneously. So uh, in order to eliminate the company transactions and calculate consolidation adjustments, you should uh, go through the manual calculation process. And uh, if you have, for example, a group of one uh, head office and one subsidiary. This is the simple process. And if you can imagine what is going on in 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 the group with the hundred subsidiaries, this could become a real nightmare. And instead of um, analyzing your business, you are collecting and uh, sending out the number of spreadsheets. And finally. Uh, you have the huge issues with the internal control. For example, mm, uh, if you have some junior team members which uh, deleted some spreadsheets on the eve of the board of directors meeting, you may not even know who did it uh, if you are working with Excel. So let's talk about, on the contrary, about the how the data fed into the consolidation system. We have two uh, major uh, sites here on this slide. On the left side, we see that we can feed the data into the consolidation system through the Excel sheets or manually through the web interface or uh, using the flat files, which can be downloaded from the reporting system and then upload it into the consolidation system. These uh, processes are mostly suitable for, uh, for the companies when you're on the implementation phase and not yet integrated with your accounting system, for example, or when you have the new subsidiary, which uh, in the which is reporting for the first time, or when you have the small subsidiaries reporting when it's easier not to integrate but download information through the files or inputting it manually through the web interface. But uh, when you have uh, the um, implementation completed and when you're going on with the integrations, it's better to integrate uh, with the reporting systems um, because it will allow you to uh, feed data uh, smoothly from the ERP, for example, into the consolidation system with uh, any frequency which you choose. It might be uh, monthly reporting or for the quarterly reporting or even for the weekly reporting. And then uh, you are um, dropping down Excel sheets and you are uh, no more sending various emails between the uh, group. Uh, now let's get on to the adjustments and reconciliations. Uh, consolidation system can uh, allow you almost 100% of your recurring adjustments to be automated. Uh, while we suggest that non-recurring entries can still be performed uh, as a double entry transactions in the system. However, they will be uh, quite transparent. You will see where they came from and uh, you can even um, bring it forward uh, into the next uh, reporting periods. Uh, and it's all controlled and verified and it's all um, approved, should be approved by the accountants on the group level. Uh, and you can tune your automatic control of the data 
uh, in a way that you need. And um, you may imagine that accountants sometimes are looking for the error in the financial statements for a huge uh, length of time. It, it can take crazy hours with no result, but with proper uh, reports and controls in the automatic system, you can uh, you can find any error in, in a matter of seconds. And uh, let's process, proceed with the internal controls, how they change as a result of the automation. Uh, as a process holder, C4 and Ch chief accountant and the senior team members can now clearly control who, when and how performs in the consolidation system. Data, system, data with improper controls can be uh, stopped from downloading into the consolidation system. And you can control the status of the consolidation process on each phase. And you can, uh, for example, speed up uh, those who are, uh, lag, who are lagging behind. And finally, you can protect your data by granting access to the sensitive information only to desired users. And um, also the system allows you to have detailed logs and audit trails, which also assists during the audit process, which is uh, quite important for the large consolidations. Um, so now I give word back to Artyom, who will present you the uh, practical implementation case. Thank you. Thank you, Evgeny. So uh, we, we, we have finished uh, with uh, a bit of theoretical parts. And all of you, if you have questions, you can uh, ask uh, them to us or maybe send them to us. Uh, we will be able to reply it either today or if the questions are, are, are more difficult or complex, we'll be able to reply maybe after the webinar, just leave us your contact details. So now we are moving to, on to a more practical case. As I said before, we have uh, about 15 years of experience of automation uh, of different finance areas in, in different companies, in different industries, in different uh, countries. So now we have uh, a couple of cases uh, where we assisted uh, with purely uh, financial or management consolidation. Uh, in this case, we have a group of 50 companies in mining industry with subsidiaries located globally with different local books and functional currencies. Like almost any, everywhere in mining industry, the group <laughs> actively grew through M&As, thus having entities constantly adding, uh, being added or being disposed from the group. The group's equity and debt were planned to be traded. So the management, uh, the financial management of the group understood that uh, they will have uh, very tight deadlines and requirements on the financial report, uh, reporting from the public. Prior to automation, the usual timeline for the group reporting was 40 days for all kinds of reports, uh, which as you, as you understand is too long for public equity or debt holders. So everyone in the company understood that the only way to tackle this was to automate the consolidated financial and management reporting. The group's operations were thoroughly scrutinized and reviewed by the board of directors so there were huge additional uh, reporting requirements from the management. As you understand, the financial uh, reporting requirements are quite high level and they are regulated by, for example, IFRS, while management reporting requirements can be endless because uh, they, there is no regulation on what management can ask uh, from, from the company to report. So the management required management reporting, uh, which uh, at this company was to be aligned with the financial reporting. The major differences were a more detailed chart of accounts with especially detailed costing and segmental information. The management needed to analyze the gross margins, 
the costs uh, in detail by each deposit and sometimes even by, by each license within the deposit. So in addition, the management reporting was bound to be presented on monthly basis. So it, it's quite, quite frequent kind of reporting compared to uh, quarterly basis for financial reporting. An additional complication in this group of companies uh, was that apart from group and standalone reporting, uh, there was also an additional requirement to present uh, several uh, layers of subholding reporting. So the group was structured as a, as a mining companies, uh, then subholding companies, several layers of subholding companies, and then only a holding company at the top. So let's uh, show how we managed this automation project and how we decreased the time for the reporting almost twice. So how we managed this project was our approach to automation was first to unify as much as possible because automation is always about unification of unification of your uh, details of your reporting of your businesses process, business processes, etc. So for subsidiaries in the same country, we advised on unification of chart of accounts and overall for the group entities, we assisted with maximum unification of all their financial and management reporting procedures. We, for example, started with unification of accounts and principles, let's say for inventory, we, we unified it to weighted average under IS2. Uh, we unified revenue recognition principles in accordance with IFRS 15. And finally, we finished with the unified fast closure requirements and procedures for the group subsidies. So we, we helped the client to unify the overall financial reporting closure process. Next step was to go on with the methodology for automation. We created a single uniform data model consisting of four parts. The first part was uniform consolidation chart of accounts with detailed analytics. The second part was mapping of the consolidated chart of accounts to the data sources for individual entities. So we map, mapped uh, all the individual entities to, to the consolidated chart of accounts. Third step was mapping of all the financial and management reporting forms to this chart of accounts. And finally, we developed, so we created a single data model. Uh, and finally, we developed uh, all the algorithms for consolidation adjustments and mapped the, them to the consolidated chart of accounts. So we prepared a single data model uh, based on a single chart of accounts, simple, single procedures uh, and uniform uh, algorithms for all the calculations. All the methodology was a starting point and a detailed scope of work for system integrator to start. With ready methodology, the system integrator was only to focus on the system and its implementation. So when the system integrator had questions, we answered. Uh, when the system integrator couldn't uh, implement some of our specific requirements, we adjusted the methodology so that the system could fit in. So I, I would bring the same method analogy uh, to construction as in the beginning of our presentation. The more thorough the blueprint is before the construction starts, the better quality product the CFO and chief accountant and their team get as a result. So uh, at the end, uh, we assisted uh, with the putting uh, the system into operation. So we re-performed the consolidation for one of the reporting periods, test periods in the system and in MX Excel outside of the system. We compared the two sets of information. Uh, and once we did it, we told the client that he is, the system is ready to, to be used and that all the MS spreadsheets uh, he had been using can now be thrown away. So the whole project took only seven months. 
And the project results were very simple, yet very important for the client. He got the financial information on time and with due qualities. And overall, a consolidation timeline decreased to 15 to 20 working days, depending on, on whether it was uh, monthly, quarterly, or uh, annual closure. So now I'm giving word to Evgeny on his case. Well, thank I you, Artem. Before we move on to the next case, there's a couple of questions on what was the total cost of this project uh, for the mining company? What sort of ROI did they receive? If it's possible to share on a public forum, if it's not, that's absolutely okay. Uh, we can reply after the presentation, maybe in writing uh, and present uh, how this cost can be calculated uh, and, and what are the estimates. For, for example, if, if we have the input, uh, we can give rough estimates. If we don't have inputs, we can give uh, just key drivers to these estimations. Excellent, Artem. So Stanislav and Hanu, we'll uh, get in touch with you about uh, your questions, if that's okay. Evgeny. Okay, thank you, colleagues. Uh, so uh, I would uh, like to tell you about a small case of our implementation. Uh, it's a little bit different from the case th that Artem reported previously. This is the case of uh, Rosseti. It's a Russian uh, network grid company which um, owns and services um, interregional and regional dist electricity distribution grid. And it uh, consists of uh, more than 100 companies. Um, which perform this uh, grid service, which perform R&D design and construction. Uh, so uh, it's uh, the national company public in Russia. However, it's the national company which spreads through the whole country and uh, the time difference, for example, between its Western and most Eastern companies is eight hours. So it's uh, the, I would say, one of the hugest national companies. Uh, and this is the case where we, this is the classical case when, where the client had the Excel uh, consolidation and transformation process and the process of the preparation of the financial statements. And we, uh, transferred them to the IBM Cognos controller tool that they have selected. And this tool we implemented by ourselves without the use of uh, another systems integrator. So the process took us uh, about one year and the team of three experts on the ADE side plus the four of the clients employees were involved into the process. And what we uh, and we had uh, uh, trained more than 300 users on the client side. These are the users that input the information. Yes, I should mention that not the all of the subsidiaries are uh, integrated the ERP systems with the um, consolidation system. This mostly happens because the group still. Uh, changes its structure and has the ongoing structure changes and the uh, automated consolidation system assists a, a lot with the implementing this ongoing changes of the group structure. Uh, so the implementations, uh, the, the implementation of the automated system allowed us to uh, switch from the uh, semi-annual reporting to the quarterly reporting at the client side. Uh, the reporting period was three months and it decreased to one month's time. And the significant issues that were solved, first of all, it's the uh, huge amount of intercompany transactions that needed to be eliminated and the client uh, even communicated by telephone with the subsidiaries in order to agree on the uh, 
uh, amount of the intercompany transactions on on the numbers of the intercompany transactions and uh, now the reconciliation is done within the system automatically having the co comments on the differences uh, then the consolidation adjustments all of them were automated and this is uh, very important for the group with the very difficult uh, structure and changing structure. Uh, also, we have the uh, unlimited number of versions of the financial statements. So the number that is reported, then the number that is, then the numbers that are adjusted, and then maybe the financial statements with the adjustments from the auditors on the top of the consolidation. Uh, and uh, the most important that we now, now have audit trail and we decreased significantly the, the audit time and we also decreased significantly the cost of the audit which has been performed by the big four company and uh, the consolidation took uh, a lot of time for the auditors. Uh, thank you. This is mostly it. Thank you, Evgeny and uh, Rossetti, as far as I remember, uh, are, are with us for about seven years and they're still, still with us, so. Yes, we're still performing the technical support of the system, which uh, performs without inter in interruptions for, for the long time and they're still happy with this. And we not also performing technical support, but we also performing the methodological support. For example, uh, we have implemented IFRS 16 uh, to the financial statements and changed all the uh, input forms and all the adjustments in order to implement this new IFRS. Not only IFRS 16, but, but as, as far as I remember also IFRS 9, when it was uh, first inter introduced several years ago, it also had a lot of changes uh, required and made for, for the financial reporting. So every time the, there is a new financial reporting standards, you always need to little adjust uh, what you have in consolidation system or any other financial reporting system. Yes, I should mention that the client, uh, when we implement the automated consolidation system, they usually have the choice be between uh, technical support performed by by us or by their own um, IT uh, service. So we uh, have different models of supporting clients. Okay, okay. Yeah, and Eugenie, there's a quick question on that. Uh, Stanislav asks uh, if he's not mistaken, Rossetti used uh, SAP BPC for these purposes before. Uh, if it's possible to know why they switched to Cognos. Uh, no, we have started the consolidation from scratch. It was performed in Excel before. Uh, SAP has SAP. been used by one of their major subsidiaries, but not for the consolidated reporting, but for the accounting for uh, fixed assets, as far as I remember. And maybe BPC has also been used for uh, business planning. Clear. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Evgeny. So now we are moving uh, to the end of our presentation. So let, let me remind you that uh, you can uh, ask uh, your questions in the chat. We will come back to you or you can anytime uh, send your request to us. So we'll be pleased. We'll be uh, glad uh, to help you, to assist you. So just a couple of words, uh, how we assist. So financial and management consolidation is just uh, one of the areas, uh, I would say not, not the simplest, but uh, it's the first area to start with, but we also assist in setting up the methodology for all the key, uh, for all other areas of finance, including uh, 
tax reporting, including financial reporting, consolidation, uh, management reporting, uh, allocations and posting, uh, budgeting and planning, and finally treasury. So we assist in unification of all of these processes. Uh, we assist in creation of unified charts of accounts, mappings, uh, and all the algorithms and procedures uh, both inside the system and outside of, of the system for all areas of finance. Uh, <clears throat> so we have to achieve your goals with automation. We have a team of 50 professionals with more than 14 years of experience of, uh, in, finance, in automation of finance in various industries and countries. So we provide transparent methodology for your project and we use very flexible contracting approaches. Uh, we first assist with setting up the scope of work and IT implementation. So we, we can sit down with you, we can sit down with a CFO, with chief, chief accountant of, in your organization, write down all the demands, uh, prepare scope of work, assist with choice of IT software to be implemented. Then we advise uh, on potential unifications of finance data and policies and business procedures and business process within the organization. After that, we embark on development of methodology itself, which is provided to the system integrator and it's a starting point for implementation. So, and then we support him on implementation and we support after the implementation. So mostly I would say that we work with the client a lot even after post implementation, because once you uh, complete uh, the implementation, you have a list of further issues for the de development. So th this is how it works. So we have been working with our clients uh, for more than, for, with many of them for more than 10 years. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll be very glad to communicate with you further and answer your questions. Uh, we will also uh, have a recording of this presentation. We also uh, send out the presentations to you, to your contact details which you provided on registration. So thank you very much and have a good day. So before everyone leaves, uh, can I ask uh, everyone who's still here, sorry, we've run out of time a little bit, but if you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, switch on your video, we'll take a quick photo for social media. Sorry. So everyone who's comfortable switching on your video so we can take a quick photo. I'll give you like 15 more seconds. No more? So once we're ready, I will say one, two, three, finance. And everyone will say one, two, three, finance and then we'll take a photo. Okay, I'll give you guys 10 more seconds to switch on your videos, fix your hair, and we will get started. Perfect. I'll go one, two, three, finance. 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 One, two, three, finance. Perfect. One, I have two good photos.